What's going on, guys? So today we'll be talking about a couple of Cydia tweaks that will actually make your device into sort of an Android jelly bean lock screen and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and dive into Jelly Lock. So you see here on my screen, I have a different lock screen here. And that little button I just pressed, I'm able to drag that to any of these icons here, whether it be in my camera icon. So if I simply slide over to that icon, it opens up my camera application and my unlock button over here, right there. So it unlocks my device. And now these three icons here, these are actually applications. Now you see here, here's our uh, messages application, our tweet bot application and Spotify. So if I simply go ahead and slide to one of those, I am able to open up that application directly from my lock screen. So that is basically what Jelly Lock does to your device, gives you a new way of unlocking your device and also a new way to open up an application directly from your lock screen. So let's go ahead and unlock our device and take a look at some settings in our settings application. So if we go down to our Jelly Lock settings, we do have a couple of settings to configure and uh, tweak it up a little bit. So first we have our enable, so make sure that is on. Um, also we have a theme, so we can go from iOS, which is what I had right there. And if I go back to the default one, I have a different little icon here as well for my unlock and camera button. So let's go back and do solid white. Solid white actually looks similar to the f default one. So that's that one. And we have black. Black one's pretty cool. It all depends what uh, background you have. So let's go ahead and unlock and then go back right here. And we have our app shortcuts. So originally, if I go ahead and reset all of our app shortcuts, I only have the camera and the unlock button and I have no icons up here. So that is where you add these applications. So first let's go ahead and add messages for the first one. Second one will be Tweetbot. Once again, let's go to Tweetbot. Where's Tweetbot? Ooh, where you at? Where you at? There he is. Okay. And then for the third one, we'll go ahead and add a Spotify because that's Again, that's an uh, application I use a lot. So you can add any application, stock or third-party application on your iOS device. And then now we'll go back and lock our device. And then we do see our applications right there. So I think that's pretty cool. Now going back down here in our settings, uh, we have circle. So circle, you are able to change the actual color of the circle right here. Uh, you're able to change it. Let's do red. No, let's do green and let's do cyan. That's something noticeable. So actually you can't even notice it really. But if you look closely, you actually have a different circle right there. And uh, let's do red. So it's red now. And you can kind of slightly tell. But let's go ahead and do the default one and go back. And here on our little circle, you see a little circle and a big circle with a slider in the middle. So what this does is makes your circle a little smaller or a little bigger. So I made it to the smallest and I see there, it made my circle a little smaller. Now, if we go right below it, it kind of looks like the sunrise and then the sunset or sunset, sunrise, whatever. So if I simply drag this all the way to the, let's do the right, um, the circle will actually move up a little higher. I see there, so the lock screen icon is a little higher. Now scrolling down to the icons setting, we actually have a swap lock and cam setting. If we turn that on, what it basically does is it swaps the lock to the left side and the camera icon to the right side. And you can also tweak up the size. So the farther the left, the smaller the icons and the farther the right, the bigger the icons will be that you see here. So, so now going down to the opacity, section we have a slider where it goes from 10 percent all the way to 100 percent so of course opacity is just going to change the transparency of your icon so if you lower it all the way down let's go ahead and do uh here about 15 percent or so we see that we can even barely see our icons here so that's going to be the transparent level there and it also has a vibration setting so you can actually enable the on touching lock and what that is is whenever you do touch your device when it's on the lock screen it will actually uh, vibrate each time 
and then you can also just do a vibration when it unlocks. So that is basically what Jelly Lock is. It gives you a little Android type of lock screen. Now, if we go back to my lock screen, we do see this little clock up here. So it's a different type of clock, and that is with another city of tweak called Jelly Lock Clock. Now, this is actually available for free as well. This is from the developer Mag N2O. Mag N2O. <laughs> I don't know, but it simply is a different clock for your lock screen and it's a great combination with Jelly Lock itself. And there are two little settings you can change in your settings app and it's just, uh, you can turn off and on the bold hour as you see there, the zero three, you can turn that off and you can also turn off the zero. So instead of it showing how you see it here, zero three, it will just show three. Oh wait. Now there's also another tweak called Jelly Droid SMS theme that will actually change up your SMS theme on your messages application. So if you take a look at it here, it, uh, it, it gives you a slightly new different um, theme for your messages app. We have little different bubbles for replying and receiving uh, messages. As you see here, it's kind of a little cyan blue or baby blue color. And it's also more like a little square. And also, if you look right here on the attachments, um, where normally you see the camera icon, you see a little paperclip icon, which is like an attachment icon. And then you can click on that and all that good stuff. So so it doesn't really change up your messages application except for those little uh, few things. So guys, that is actually how do you get Android Jelly Bean type of lock screen and messages and everything on your iOS device with simply having Jelly Lock, which is actually available through a different repo. So you will actually have to add this manually through Cydia and then go to manage, edit, and then add cydia.myreposspace.com slash Max Cats Man, as you see right here on the screen down below. So I'll leave that repo slash source down below in the description. So be sure to add that in order to get Jelly Lock. But as far as the other two tweaks go, Jelly Lock Clock and also Jelly Droid SMS theme, you can pick those up through Cydia, through the Mod My Eye repo. Other than that, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did like it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. As always, it not only helps me, but it supports the channel as well. Shows me that you like the video and you want more. Also, go ahead and follow me on Facebook and Twitter if you haven't followed me on those for future updates. And if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified when I come out with all of my latest videos. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and I will catch you all on the next one. All right? Peace!